That's a thumbs up from me. Thumbs down, because if you're gonna play You've got to play it right. What is up, mother pluckers? Welcome back to the channel. Hope you're having an amazing day. So today I'm going to be looking at Watch Mojo's top 10 guitar riffs of all time, and then they're going to put them on the ukulele. What I'm going to do today is I'm basically going to rate them with either a yes, a big thumbs up, or a big thumbs down as to whether I think they work on an ukulele. So I'm going to be using my Flight Centurion Tenor Electric Ukulele, going through my Line 6 Helix LT. And again, I'm going to give it a thumbs up or thumbs down if it works in a standard tuning ukulele. All right, so let's get going. Let's get watching. Here we go. Watch Mojo. Okay, Welcome so what? to WatchMojo.com. And today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 guitar riffs of all time. There you go. Top 10 guitar riffs of all time. Okay, so we've had Nirvana and Chuck Berry. It's going to be really this interesting list, to see. We've definitely. chosen one song. Number 10, You Really Got Me, The Kings. Ah, oh, gee. You really got me now. You got me so I don't know what I'm doing. Opening our list is this bombastic right. blues based okay. recording. So, absolute tune, number 10. Okay, so what have we got? No, 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 no. Okay, so we are in a G. Okay, so. Uh, yeah. Aha. Uh Aha. -huh. Uh -huh. Girl, you really got me now. Okay. And then up. Yeah, you really got me now. Oh, yeah. And it goes up again, doesn't it? Yeah. Okay. Mad tune. Love this riff. Super simple, super easy. But when done properly, sounds great. Okay. So we've got that going from the G down to the A back to the G. Yeah. sounded pretty good so far. Obviously then it goes up. Yeah. Goes up again. You really got me now. Yeah. You really got me. You really got me. And then back into that main riff. Cool. I'm giving this one a mighty big thumbs up there. That definitely works on an ukulele in the standard tuning. We're doing like a, a power chord bar chord thing. So what I'm doing is I'm taking the root note there, which is the seventh fret on the C string, and then I'm playing the fifth below. Normally you play the fifth above like this, but I'm playing it below. Obviously I've got a low string going on here, a low, a low string. I've got a low G string going on here, but it gives it that nice bit of beef, which is quite nice. A nice little bit of distortion as well. Yep, thumbs up from that one. You really got me. Let's carry on. Where's number nine? Number nine, Master of Puppets, Metallica. Right, okay. Our next riff comes off the first thrash metal album to be certified platinum. Enter Sandman instigated Metallica's mainstream popularity. Okay, right. So, Enter Sam, not Enter Sandman, what we're talking about. Master of Puppets, mad tune, big Metallica fan. There's so many Metallica riffs to choose from. Okay, so we know that Metallica like to play in E. Oh, it's okay, so we've got a... Uh, okay, but now, on a standard tuning guitar, you're chugging on the low E string. What have I got here? I've only got a low G string, so doing it in the original uh, key of E minor. Uh, uh, oh man. Uh, I mean. No. Thumbs down. We don't need to go any further on this. This isn't working, even if I played it in G. Nah, it's not working. That's a thumbs down from me. Next song! Paranoid, yeah. Black Sabbath. Oh, yes. Absolute tune. Okay, so Iron Man may e have minor again. status, but it's paranoid. It's cited time and time again. 
as essential to the heavy metal okay, canon. Okay, let's, let's figure this one out then. So we've obviously got... Uh... So we're using that um, power chord idea again, where we've got, actually got the root note on the C string, but then we have the fifth on the string below to give it that beef. So we've got, you know... Whoa, yeah. Mm -hmm. and a nice chugging. And then, uh... Okay, yeah, so we've got E. Down to D. And then G, D, E, yeah. That's a thumbs up from me there. That's two up, one down. Okay, two thumbs up, one thumbs down. Here we go. Next song. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, man, I'm liking this list. There are some cracking riffs on this Back as well. Okay. So I did this on uh, one of my Instagram reels a while ago, so I already know it quite well. So obviously we're in a... Uh, so we've got E, D, D, D. And then we've got that lick. Cracking riff. Love this tune. So simple. So good. With that lick. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so slightly different way to play it than you would play it on guitar, but I think that works. We got beef, it's sounding good. Yep, that's another thumbs up there. Cool, three thumbs up. That's A lot of them are working on the ukulele, definitely giving it a good go. Right, number six then, here we go. Let's find number six, where are you now? Okay, a bit of Eric Clapton, bit of Eric Clapton. Okay, so we've obviously got that very... Uh, I think this is going to work as well, because obviously there's Les Paul kind of... Okay, this is definitely going to work. Okay, right, let's see if I can play it properly now, so. I think this riff, again, definitely works on the ukulele. I think the thing that's tough about this one is getting those, getting those bends right, because I could play it further down the neck like that. But then I think it's a bit too tinny, it's a bit too in your ears, and then I could flick my pickup. Yeah, no, up there on the neck. Man, I need to work on my lead playing, it seems. Okay, yep, I think it works. I think I need to play it better. Smoke on the water, deep purple. It had to be on this list somewhere, didn't it? Love it or hate it, zero, three, five, whatever you want to call it. So voice slightly differently. We've got that power chord idea again, but this time we are playing the fifth underneath because we've got the low G, and then we've also got the D, which is the fifth that gives us that nice fifth chord. So it's just that same finger position. Hybrid picking as well, so that we're using the plectrum and your finger to get that slightly softer sound. It works, but I don't really like having that high voicing, you know. But they're just doing one string at a time doesn't work either. So I'm going to give this one actually a thumbs down because if you're going to play Smoke on the Water, you've got to play it right. And I just don't think uh, it works on the ukulele. But let me know in the comments. Let me know what you think. Moving on to the next one. Number four, Whole lot of Love, 
Led Zeppelin. Tune, can't deny. Do, 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 do. So we're Jimmy Pages again. taught guitar work in the intro to this. Here's an interesting thing to point out. So many of these guitar riffs are in E because obviously that rock guitar vibe, everyone goes to that E standard tuning. So that automatically makes things sound a bit more difficult, especially if you haven't got a low G on it. So that E power chord again. I can live with that, I think that works. Again, it's missing that low rumbly stuff, but I think if you played it along with a bass ukulele, that would sound absolutely fine. Yep, that's our thumbs up from me. Number three, Voodoo Child, Slight Return, Jimi Hendrix Experience. Right. Mad tune, this is definitely gonna work. We're definitely gonna need some wah-wah. And also, if you haven't checked it out, you need to check out James Hill's version of this because it is so good. He's using a baritone, he's doing the percussive slappity tappity he's singing, he's blistering out a solo. Definitely check it out at this link here. Right, anyway, let's get some wah pedal on this boy. Might just flick the switch up there, you know. Nice, yeah. Does it work? I don't know, it sounds a bit mincy. A bit wincy, I'm not entirely sure. Let me know what you think in the comments. I'm gonna give that one a thumbs down. Even though I love the wire pedal, that's a thumbs down from Simon here. I'm sorry, I can't do it. You don't like it? Let me know in the comments. All right, okay, here we go. Keep it coming. All right, what's next? Oh, so many tunes. These are great songs. I'm loving them. There's Ozzy Osbourne. Crazy Train, Ozzy Osbourne. Ozzy Osbourne, a man that surrounded himself with some fantastic guitar players. It's not working for me. Again, we are in uh, G flat. Obviously, we can only go as far down as G, so without tuning it down, that's a thumbs down from me. Sorry, Ozzy, that's just the way it is, man. Okay, next song. Before we unveil our top pick, here honorable are honorable mentions. Some honorable okay, mentions. honorable mentions. Here we go. So these ones I didn't think were good enough. Okay, it's a tune, it's Eddie Van Halen. Um, I don't really know Eddie Van Halen much, but I think there's, you know, bigger and better riffs. Ah, oh, chip. Okay, yeah. Honorable mention. Yeah, I don't think it is quite as uh, momentous as some of those other riffs, but you know, the. Yeah, it's good, yeah. What's number one gonna be? It's gotta be Sweet Child of Mine, right? We have to have Sweet Child of Mine. Like, that is just the all-time riff. Tune, yeah, tune, tune, tune. What's next? Yeah, not the biggest Megadeth fan myself. I don't have anything to Megadeth, you know. You know, very good players, all a bit, but. Ah, oh, yeah, bit of Dire Straits. But again, you know, there's the, How is that an honorable mention? How is Sweet Child of Mine not number one? What is number one gonna be? I would say that is like the most recognizable riff of all time. Okay, what's number one gonna be then? Number one. Okay, don't get me wrong. Rolling Stones, mad tunes coming from these guys. So many great riffs and that itself. Okay, right, yeah, you know. Let's get some fuzzy fuzz. Out. Yeah, 
Now, I'm not denying, that is a cracking tune. Like, number one, that on top of something like... On top of Sweet Child of Mine. No. Watch Mojo. I'm sorry, but I'm disappointed. I think you could have done... But I don't know. Let me know what you think in the comments as well, folks. Hope you enjoyed the video as well. Make sure you subscribe so that you never miss a future video. Ukulele Simon here. See you next time. Bye-bye. 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 He's a goal one now.